All right, before I get started, you can say hi. 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 I am Ziki, aka 14th Lord, and this is Undecided Evie, aka Eva Saras. I don't use that online. You just a, call me AKA that. the Psycho AKA yes. hey, Blue Banana. Yes. So that, I, that, I that, that, that is her. That, I am that, undecided Evie. No, she's just shy about her legal name. It's okay. Anyway, so this is what st made us want to do this video. This is going to be a Let's Eat video because those are all the praise. So we're but, not going to eat these. No, we're not going to eat these because <laughs> these are playing cards. And there's something inside here that we really don't want to eat. Yes. If you can read here, it says it comes with eight cards, one sticker, and one stick of bubble gum. Now, this is the... 1989 Batman. Yes. 1989 Batman, the Jack Nicholson. And this packaging, this wax, papery, wax... Wax paper. Yes, wax papery... Wrapper. Yeah. It, 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 it's old, basically. This... Pretty sure this is not a recent reproduction. It might be, if, the, but I believe the company went defunct in two thousand five. So, or was that another company? So oh, I thought no, that, I was, that, that was the one yeah. for the other cards that, that we found. Yeah, that was for this company that defunct in <laughs> two thousand five. But those might also be just be old cards. Yes. Now, Super Mario Bros. We found a store selling a ton of both these packs for one dollar each, and we were like, we need to pick that up. Now, how this correlates to a Let's Eat video is because, well, the stick of gum, that is ancient. So yes, I'm scared of that stick of gum that is probably older than I am. Let's start with... And it smells like cardboard. Let, let's start with how it is unwrapped. It just goes... It's unwrapped. That's it. It's just like a little... little you can't even see glue. It's like it was, it was a little sticky and it held down and it yeah. just popped right out. Nothing else hold it. Now, let's get these cards out off camera apparently and I dropped gum. It's okay. it's okay. We are not going to eat that. Oh my god, we're not going to eat that. It smells horrible. It smells like it smells like a basement almost. I think it smells more like clay. Yeah, it, it it's bad. Or something like clay, play though mix. The cards are also pretty cheap. They're yes. like this cheap cardboard that have the exact same smell as the gum. Yes. Well, well it just smells like cheap cardboard. Like a, a newspapery yeah. cardboard. Now, let's show off these cards. Now, we got the sticker here where the gum was on. And look at all that crust just stuck on there. Oh, God. And here's the back of the card. It's supposedly a sticker one, but... We can't figure out where to peel it off. Yeah, it's like... We'll do that eventually. Yeah, we'll figure it out eventually. Now, I gotta say, these cards are weird as shit. Uh, you have some, like, there's, like, a bunch of cards that are, like, you know, the scenes from the movie. Yeah, that that's... No, that's... You, you expect, like, the, the get cards of the characters. But, no, we got scenes of the movie. Some and... Directors. Just flat-out um. scene scenes. <laughs> Like the Thanks. museum exterior, and this is like artistically drawn rather than actually a scene from the movie. It might have been like a uh, concept art. Yes, probably was. The um, man and his quarry with the Joker on the screen behind him. And let's see, where it's like a bunch of scenes, and then there's something like that's another concept art. The director's vision, where they're just flat out with the director besides Batman. Yeah. And then... I think it's cool the behind we, the scenes. We though. have a miniature set. Yes. It's like, wow. Okay, that's a little bit unusual. Oh, no, some of them and, are cool. I'm going to put some of them on my wall. Yes, and behind each one, they have, like, little descriptions. Mm -hmm. Like, time to die, Crimson. Gibson. Gibson. Gibson, I think. No. Grissom. 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 Okay, I, I, I'm yes. reading it. The double cross Jack Napier, now reborn as the Joker, destroys the man who betrayed him. This act of violence in, inaugurates the, the weird, blood stained career of the Clown Prince of Crime. Continued on card 141, Armadillo Effect. Collect all 132 second series cards. By the way, didn't mention 
this is actually the second series of this card line. Yep. You didn't see the first series there, but apparently there is. And apparently it's like, what, $5 online? Yeah. So let's get to the Mario mm. cards. Now this is the ones I got. I got like 10 packs of these. <laughs> it's beautiful, that's why. Yeah. See, look at that. I know, you love that movie. Yes, now this is a company that would be funky in 2005. Pretty sure they're not still printing these. If they are, what are they thinking? <laughs> <laughs> the movie was unpopular, even though it was a masterpiece, in my opinion. I don't know. I was scared of it, but I only saw it when I was really little. Now, these cards make a little bit more sense. We got actually, like, characters, like, well, more scenes. But Bertha... What? It's not talking about these forever. Yes. We're, we're, we're going to try rushing through this one. Okay. Because we're, we're taking, talking about this for a while. Bertha bells them out with the boots. Uh, family pride. These like make the most sense. Mars utility belt or tool belt. I don't know why, but it's there. And it came with a hollow that's apparently put back upside down. Uh, it's, it's King Koopa. You can sort of see it? Maybe? No? Okay. Yeah. That one's actually really hard to see. So, with that out of the way. Let's try the food. Yes, because this one's really hungry. Hey, you're the one rushing to try the food. I think okay. you're hungry. I am a little hungry. So, let's start off. We'll have dinner after this. Let's start off simple. Potato flavored snack. Yep. Now we got I that. I was intrigued because it wasn't a potato chip. It's yes. We got that with Maybe. banana kick. And taco chips, which I doubt taste like tacos. I think it's octopus. It has a picture of an octopus on it. Okay, come on. Wow, this is actually a little bit annoying to get open. Got it. There we go. Alright. How's it smell? It smells potato-y. But, like, there's something else in there. Yeah, it smells different. Hmm. They're like these little swirlies. Oh, there's an aftertaste. Oh, you're right, there is an aftertaste. Hmm. But it's like a... A little seafoody. A little seafoody, but not quite. Like roasted something. I don't know yeah. what. It, it's roasted something. It's also kind of bland, too. But really good. I'm liking these. Yeah. It's so bland, they're seafoody taste. It's interesting. They're really good though. They definitely sort of taste potato y. Yeah, they do. But there's like this. They do taste a bit potato y. I do not know what that aftertaste is, but I like it. Hmm. That is awesome. Okay. Let's not fill up on this bag. Okay. Let's put that over there. Alright. Let's get to Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Taco chips. Seafood flavored. Yep. Alright. Let's get you open. Back up so you're able to get my face. <laughs> yeah, they, these <laughs> bags are a little tough. Yes. Tough. Yeah. How does it smell? It smells like seafood. Yeah, it sort of has like the um, shrimp chip kind of yeah. smell, but it's not really shrimp. I don't really like seafood, it's, it's so very I, I, I don't think I like this. It's sort of like a crunchy, airy texture. It tastes like shrimp. It doesn't taste like the shrimp chips, though. It's not very seaweedy, like the shrimp chip. Or it's less salty than the shrimp chips can be sometimes. Shrimp what? The shrimp um, flavored crunchy things. What, we didn't get any, but I've had them before. Okay. It's more mild than the shrimp ones. It's good. It tastes like shrimp though. It's the mild, mild taste of shrimp. Hmm. Kind of. It's seafoody. It's but okay. It's not as strong as some of the other stuff. Yeah, I could eat this. And it's sort of like a light, crunchy texture. Yeah, it's pretty mild. I like it. Yeah. And I, I don't like shrimp. I mean, it tastes like shrimp, but not. It's the it's like the literary nest because it's chips. So 
banana kick. Banana. banana sticks with artificial flavoring. You're probably gonna like these better than me. Yeah, so I like bananas. I know, I want to like bananas, but I just don't. Yes. Bananas are bad. Oh my god, I thought these, it was pears that were supposed to be evil. These look like Cheetos. And you smell it. Oh, yeah. they do look like Cheetos. Look, look. They look exactly like pale Cheetos. Huh. They don't taste like Cheetos. No, no, the texture is exactly like Cheetos, except they taste like sweet bananas. Yes, this is throwing me off. Not like the bananas you get from the stores. Like the real bananas from the oldie days before they started cloning them. Basically the banana candy. Uh-huh. But it's the exact same texture as a Cheeto. You know what the, those banana plants were called? The ones that were wiped out by the, what was it, fungus or something? I don't know. By the way, did we, did we show you what these look like? Okay, let's go through them real quick. They're These fishies. are the shrimps. Yep. The taco chips. These ones still, they're like little. Yeah, like tiny. Swirly, tiny. Thingies. Cheetos. Like tiny. Uh, sort of like the Cheetos. crunchy Cheetos, though. Okay. Those are like the pop Cheetos. Alright, next up we have Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty! Uh, does it say anything about flavoring? Um, there's um, a lot of... Marshmallow... Yeah, collagen. 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 Yes. So, this marshmallow. Collagen marshmallow. So yeah. I have had the marshmallow ones before. I don't know what flavor these things are. You know there's what? a little rip thing on the side. Is there? Yep. Oh, there is. That's really convenient. Yep. Eh. Come out. There we go. So... Let's start off by showing that these actually do look like marshmallows, they like are marshmallows. mini marshmallows. I don't think they just look like marshmallows. They smell like it too. Oh, they're a bit hard. Yeah, they are a little. They're actually really hard. Well, not really hard, but pretty hard. What? They got something inside, inside it. I'm not sure. I've had these marshmallow things before where they've been softer and they've been better. These ones taste a little stale. Yeah, that's a bit to swallow. I don't know what's in them though. Yeah. I'm very confused. It's like fruit flavored, but... It's really mild. I can't even recognize it. It's fruit flavored, but it's some fruit flavor I don't know. kind of smells... It tastes like uh, gummy bears. And actually has the texture a little bit. Mm. I just like gummy bears were harder. Yeah, it's har it's harder, but this is pretty hard for marshmallows. No, the gummy bears were harder. Those are stale marshmallows. Yeah, I'm saying this is this is hard for marshmallows. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's cleanse our palate with a nice soothing kitty drink. Lucky cat. What's yeah, it called? Uh, carbonated beverage. Fuku Maneki Soda, and in quotation mar marks, Kimura. It was right next to other stuff that was um, ginseng, some other ginseng drink that had like a stick of ginseng in it, so I'm going to guess it's ginseng flavor. Possibly. I want to get the water out of here. I have ice yes, in my cup. Yes, we for... actually have some nice glass cups, because we're sophisticated. Or okay. glass no glasses. more water, because the ice was melting. Yes. I'm just looking to see if... Nope. Doesn't no. even say it's anything else. Doesn't say what it is. Imported by JFC International. Uh, cash refund. Uh, ingredients. Carbonated water. No, high fructose corn case. syrup. Brown sugar. Um, uh, citric acid. Artificial flavor. Mo, mo, honey, there we go. Honey, trisodium, citrate, caramel color. Alright. Alright, let's try it out. I'm gonna smack you in the face like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's fizzy. Yeah, it was. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that cap just came right off. <laughs> okay. You get yours first. Sure. 
and then okay. get mine. It smells nice. It smells kind of sweet. Kind of like looks like sparkling wine. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks like white wine. It's not wine. It tastes sweet. Let's put that cap back on, cause we're not gonna finish this. I don't think this is ginseng, but no. It, it sort of tastes like ginger ale, but not. It smells like ginger ale. It's sweeter than ginger ale, I think, a little bit. Yeah, it tastes like ginger ale. Yeah, that really tastes like ginger ale. But slightly different. Yeah, slightly. It, yeah, it does taste sweeter. Yeah, like it's got some sort of sugar mixed in with um, ginger ale. Not bad. Yeah, it's a brown sugar. It's not super special, though. Soft brown sugar, honey... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's not that different. It's basically ginger ale with some sugar added to it. Basically, think ginger ale with a cute... Lucky cat. Cat. I, I was wondering if this, that was a bunny for a moment. <laughs> okay, let's down All this right. out. No, I'm going to hold on to this. Fine. Now, let's go to the what we found by the Pringles. Pringles! Yes. Whoa! <laughs> These are just gonna be Pringles, but yeah. it's fun packaging. Guy's giving a thumbs up. You can't really see because of the glare. There we go. That's well, better. Pringles don't normally Potato have people. chips. P Pringles don't normally have people on it. Well, they have oh, like, they, the they mustache. Have, yeah, they usually have the weird cartoon. mustache man. Let's let's do a size comparison. It's like this is. Oh, it's smaller. Yeah, it's smaller and thinner. Very Asiany. Uh, let's see. Okay. Potato chips, tomato. Tomato. Uh, tomato flavor. Yeah, it says right there, tomato flavor. Oh, so excuse me. Soda. Yeah. Let's open her up. Okay. Oh, that tore. Eh, eh, I'm gonna do, just but... pop it. And come on, come on. Come on. There we go. What? Oh, okay. I am. Okay, really... so. Where? I'm. I am. Oh, what? <laughs> Apparently. They're the, broken. Yeah, so they're all and broken. And they're up. also shoved yeah, in some kind this of container. Container inside the container. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is going on? Yeah, don't pull that all out. Oh, that tastes like tomatoes. That it tastes, tastes exactly like, like tomato. Yeah, that tastes... That tastes pretty much exactly like tomato. Yeah, it's like tomato chips. It, well, it said it was tomato flavored. It tastes yeah. like tomato with maybe like a little bit of like basil or some sort of Italian-y spices. Yeah, I mean... But mainly tomato. There's not much of the other spices. Oh, it's pretty good though. And I don't like tomatoes. I'm very confused by that packaging though. Hey. That's pretty cool. He approves. Yes. <laughs> I mean, what more do you need? And I only have this other thing. Uh huh. At the store we got the cards from, I got some of the Chowards Violet, mm -hmm. um, mints. Mints. Why, why They're the not exactly mints. It's not mint flavor. Why the quotation marks? Because it's a mint, but it's not mint flavored. Okay. It's a violet flavored. Also, their gum totally tastes different, so you should try the gum too because it's a different flavor but i'm sorry you're probably not gonna like this i like it all right so here you go you never had one before it smells grapey grape no really? not grapey it's that smell most people say it smells like so yeah that is what it smells like <laughs> you confused soap and grapes yeah Alright, try it. Hmm. It feels a bit dry on the tongue. Because of its texture. And it doesn't really roll in my mouth very well. Because it's square. Yeah. It's yeah, like this really flat. Them. Like this really flat disc. It doesn't really fit in my cheek well either. Kind of. I bite them normally. Yeah. Next thing I just bite them. And eat them. Except, yeah, usually... Because they're not really that nice to stay in their mouth, and despite mints usually being like that, 
Mints are usually nicer to keep in your mouth for a while. The reason I like them is because mints usually make me want to um, just... Or, like, the little candy thing you keep in your bag. I just want to start eating it. Like, the strawberry Tic Tacs. I think I've eaten, like, a whole thing of the strawberry Tic Tacs. <laughs> I don't want to, like... I can't keep it in my bag. And I don't like mints. So, I love these because they don't make me want to eat the whole pack. Okay. Immediately. And people... What, what do you think I taste? How would you describe the flavor? I don't know. Most people say it tastes like soap. Can we try another one? But it's like good soap? Yeah. It, it, it's soap, but it's good soap. Yeah. That's it, all I can it, say. It kind of tastes like edible soap. It's not the soap, like if you've ever actually eaten soap. That's disgusting. That, yeah. Yeah. It tastes like what you would hmm. imagine really, soap to taste like, of, not what it actually tastes yeah, like. Yeah, it's kind of hard. It's kind of perfumey, too. Yeah. I would say it would. Oh. Now that really tastes like soap there. Yeah. Yeah. I would say if you really ever imagine like this hard um, cr crunch, like just crunches right out, doesn't even, it's not, yeah. I it, like. It just snaps in your teeth. Yeah. You can even hear the sound. But yeah, if you ever imagine soap, just like, she, like she said. It's very perfumey. That's what it tastes like. But... It's sort of like soap, per but good soap. Perfumey? Perfumey, yeah. It kind of tastes a little, like, sort of very scenty you know, you know, what I was feeling it for the first one, the second one, not so much. Exactly! That's why it's like, I eat one, and I'm done. I don't need a second one. Rather than me getting, like, the strawberry Tic Tacs that are amazing, and I just eat the whole thing, and then I'm like, I, hey. I don't have them on my back anymore. That's one way to conserve it. And that's all. We have more, but we're going to make it for another video. Yep. So, stay tuned for another time where we'll have seaweed teriyaki yes. snacks. Oh, that's going to be so tasty. And before we I go, like we're going to show you something else we found in the store. Because it's not like these are, these aren't rare or unusual, but these are Harry Potter chocolate frogs. Woo. We already ate it, so yes. sorry. It tastes like chocolate. It does not, it, nothing it's, special. It's yeah, it was With just like chocolate. some little crisp rice. The rice yeah, rice yeah, in it. yeah. If you ever had one of those crunchy bars, yep. and, and it, it, came with it a comes card. with a card, yeah, and, and, and like it's protective, a card. yeah, and, and protective wrapping, and it's so kind of, it moves like the, the pictures. Yeah, so like here, yeah, it's some rock star dude. You kind of, kind of getting it. No, it goes no, it, by it, um, it looks, waving it up and down rather than left and right. It's not working so well. Oh. Got a little bit. It, it looks terrifying. It, it looks terrifying on camera and in real life. <laughs> this is uh, supposed to be a... Rockstar dude. Don Nagham Tremlet. I'm having a little issues reading it because it actually... It's actually, the actually, other side of the names. Oh, yeah, because it has mo <laughs> two names and it's like flips between the two depending on how you're holding it. Yeah. And the Miron Wagtail, who is the lead singer of a popular wizarding band. Yes. Stage left. <laughs> Where Dongathan Tremlett, 1972 to present, oh, uh, plays bass with a popular wizarding band. Wow, I'm that's really descriptive. Just from the same band. Yeah, I would too. Can you kind of? Just... You can kind of see. It's it's not really showing up so well, but that horrifying looking face. It looks like kind of screaming in horror, but if you. On camera, but it's actually like singing into a mic. That's supposed to be a mic. But yeah. Yep. That's all for this time. We're going to eat all this food. Yes. And uh, we'll have another video out because we like eating. Yes. And we <laughs> like trying new foods. Yes. So hopefully you enjoyed. See you next time. And stop recording.